Hi gang, I'm my radar meteorologist Matt Capucci with the latest on the situation in Iceland. According to the Icelandic Met Office, there is the significant likelihood of a volcanic eruption in the coming days. Between midnight and 4 p.m. local time, there were 900 earthquakes. That's nearly 60 per hour. Over the past week, there have been upwards of 10,000 small earthquakes. Two of them on Friday were above magnitude 5.0 in strength, and 13 at or above magnitude 4.5. This is all happening on the Reykjanes Peninsula, which is just about 25 miles southwest of Reykjavik, Iceland's capital. The community of Grindavik, home to about 3,300 people, has been evacuated. So has the Blue Lagoon Hot Springs Resort, a premier tourist destination in Iceland. I've been there before. They'll reevaluate at 7 a.m. on Thursday morning. Now, it's believed that a fissure of magma is flowing directly underneath the city of Grindavik in a channel known as a volcanic dike. Scientists believe that channel is about 10 miles long and stretches from northeast to southwest, reaching into the ocean. We know this based on the movement of earthquakes. On Friday, they were located about two miles northeast of Grindavik, but since then they've moved southwest, indicating the magma is flowing that way. The ground east of Grindavik has risen by about a foot and a half. To the west of Grindavik, it's sunk by about three feet. It comes as no surprise that large smoking cracks have opened in the landscape, including directly beneath Grindavik. On Friday, we thought the magma was about a half mile below ground. Now it's probably much closer to the surface. So why is this all happening? Well, Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula is located over the mid-ocean ridge. The North American plate and the Eurasian plate are pulling apart there. Magma bubbles up beneath, causing hot spots and occasional volcanic eruptions. There is one main volcanic mountain called Fagradalsfall that's been dormant for about 6,300 years. The entire peninsula was asleep for the past 800 years, until an earthquake swarm in late 2019. Two back-to-back 5.6s struck, then a 5.7 in 2021. Then on March 19th of that year, a 2,000 foot long fissure called Geldingagulskos opened up. Other cracks opened up in late April of that year, then earlier this year in July. Of course, this is a breaking situation. We have all hands on deck. We'll be covering this nonstop here on MyRadar's YouTube channel and of course right here in the free MyRadar app. Follow MyRadar on social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download MyRadar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.